Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys some advanced level tips on saving battery life. And don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to lower your screen's resolution or even turn on power saving mode, because I'm sure you've all heard that a hundred times before. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. In this video, I'm going to cover 4 silent killers of your phone's battery life and how you can manage them to get the best out of your mobile. So let's start by talking about location services. You may have not realized, but these days quite a few apps including most social media apps have access to your GPS location, potentially requesting and accessing this data even while the app is seemingly closed and slowly eating away at your battery life. So let's find out which apps have access to your location and apply some restrictions. Just simply open your quick settings panel and long press on the location icon or simply head into your phone settings and search for location. Next, just simply tap on app permissions and here is where you're going to find all of the apps that have requested and have access to your location information. Just work your way down the list of apps and make sure you're happy with when and if they can have access to your data. Personally, I limit all of my social media apps to only use my location if I'm within the app itself and only allowing Google services to run in the background. While we're on the topic of location, a really effective tweak is to head into improve accuracy and disabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning. This may reduce your phone's accuracy by forcing it to solely rely on its GPS signal, but it will definitely save you some battery overall. Now as a bonus tip, for those of you with a Samsung phone, you'll be able to use Bixby routines in order to automatically turn on and off your location settings whenever you open or close an app, such as whenever you're using Google Maps. Just simply follow the steps that I'm indicating on screen. And for those of you who don't have access to Bixby, here are two very good apps that you can check out to achieve similar results. If you liked the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Next, let's look at restricting apps from running in the background. So let's head back to our phone settings and navigate to the battery section. For Samsung users, you're going to find this under device care. While you're here, make sure you check out battery usage to see exactly which apps are draining your battery. But the option that we're actually looking for is called sleeping apps. If you can't find this outright in your battery settings, try searching for it. This list will allow you to manage the apps that will be put to sleep whenever you're not using them, meaning that they won't run in the background and you may not receive any notifications from them. But if you want to take this one step further and fully restrict the background activity of an app, head to the settings app section, select an app, head into battery and disable allow background activity. Another major battery drain is data syncing where your phone looks to automatically synchronize your emails, contacts, images and more with cloud services. By simply moving over to a more controlled syncing cycle, you're going to be able to get better battery life on your phone. You can either do this manually with the quick settings panel or you could schedule it with the likes of Bixby routines, if this then that or even Tasker. But bear in mind this will affect your notifications for things such as emails. So if you're using your phone for work, make sure you sync up more regularly. The final tip I have for you guys is to do with Google Play services. If you're facing major battery drain on a day to day basis, make sure you head to your battery usage and double check how much Google Play services is using. In a single charge or a day's use, this shouldn't be above 2%. But if it is, you have two options, either back up and restore your phone or to delete your phone's cache. Personally, I always choose the cache. In order to do this, you're going to have to get your phone to boot into recovery mode. In most cases, it's as simple as turning your phone off and then holding the volume up and power button. And once you see your phone's logo appear, let go of the power button, but keep a hold of the volume up key. Now just simply navigate using the volume up and down key until delete cache partition is highlighted. Now clear your cache using your phone's power button and then reboot your system. And there you have it. These are my four advanced level tricks to getting better battery life. 
And don't forget, if you want more Android customization tips and tricks, make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.